so number one the lord can be mighty in your midst to bring supernatural favor number two rest roundabout number three protection and super supernatural protection and preservation are you ready for number four the fourth blessing that comes upon any individual who pays that price to be a career of God's manifest presence is called honor and exemption honor and exemption please give us Isaiah 43 from verse 3 to 6 let's read from amplified Isaiah 43 from verse 3 to 6 someone's life is changing now watch this I like us to read or I'll just read you just follow for I am the Lord your God the Holy One of Israel, your Savior. He says, I give Egypt to the Babylonians for your ransom. God is sharing men to bail you out. Look at this. Ethiopia and Seba for your release. Next verse. He says, because you are precious in my sight and honored and because I love you, what will I do? I will give men in return for you and people in exchange for your life. This is your Bible. That when you can secure that presence God would rather give a nation as a ransom to preserve you verse 5 fear not for I am with you I will bring your offsprings from the east where they are dispersed and gather you from the west the last verse it says for I will say to the north give up do you know what this means i will say to the south keep not back bring my sons from afar and my daughters from the ends of the earth that everything that has been scattered north south east and west that because you have secured the presence of god he can begin to give instructions it is not just men men don't come alone men come with things when the magi saw the star that identified where Jesus the king was they came with gifts the Bible says they came with the gifts of gold frankincense and myrrh when Job was about to be restored the Bible says all the people who left him they started coming from everywhere Job 42 and verse 10 give it to us please Job 42 and verse 10 that the Lord turned the captivity of Job when he prayed for his friends and the Lord gave Job twice as much as he had how did that happen 11 the Bible says then came there unto him all his brethren and all his sisters and they that had been his acquaintance before something made them leave him and did eat bread with him in his house and they bemoaned him and comforted him over the evil that the lord had brought upon him every man also gave him a piece of money every man first samuel chapter 18 let's start our reading from verse 10 still amplified first samuel 18 from verse 10 are you ready watch what happened to the boy david the bible says the next day an evil spirit from god one day i will teach you that some of these expressions that mean an evil spirit from god it was an error in the understanding of the prophets those days because evil does not proceed from god but for now let's just look at it it says and raved madly in his house saul now and david played with his hands as at other times and Saul was holding a javelin. Saul wanted to kill David. And the Bible says Saul cast the javelin. And he thought I will pin David to the wall. And David evaded him twice. Read on. Saul was afraid of David. Verse 12. He says because the Lord was with him. Saul was afraid. David became a threat. What is it about this young boy that exempts him? That evil that should happen to him, even the one I planned, does not happen. Look at what Saul ended up doing. The man who wanted to kill David, watch what he ended up doing. Verse 13. So Saul removed David from him and made him commander over a thousand. And he went out and came in before the people. Verse 14. David acted wisely in all his ways and succeeded. And the Lord was with him. You see there again. 15. We're reading to 16. When Saul saw how capable and successful David was, he stood in awe of him. But all Israel and Judah loved David, for he went out and came in before them. Everybody say honor. honor. Say exemption. That's what happens when the Lord is in the midst of you, even to be mighty. Honor trails you like a shadow. 
Is someone learning? Saul wanting to kill David. David dodged that javelin and he ended up promoting him. When you read the previous verses, you will see that women began to sing songs to say, ah, Saul killed 1,000 and David 10,000 and it grieved his heart. Can I tell you this? You can respect yourself, you've heard me say, but you cannot honor yourself. Nobody has the power to honor himself. Honor is conferred upon you. Are we together? Yeah. There are many believers who love God. There are many gifted and graced people, but they lack this grace for honor. Honor causes men to perceive you correctly, to match the worth of your sacrifice and then to reward you accordingly the assignment of honor is to keep correcting perceptions until it matches who you truly are hallelujah and jabez was more honorable than his brethren that's the end of his story then it goes back to sin one and says that the mother bore him in sorrow and she named him jabez because of her pain and he got to a point where he found out his contemporaries had risen nothing was working in his life he took responsibility oh that that would just bless me he said and enlarge my coast and he prayed and the bible says god had him four things that the presence of god secures never forget this so that when you see people walking in this possibility the secret is not any invention of themselves they have found security in the manifested presence of God the Lord thy God in the midst of thee is mighty 